personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so Joe Joyce got absolutely destroyed against Zhang Jale. Um, a lot of people who are once high on him now aren't high on him. Are calling him a hype job and calling him exposed and all these things. And to, and to his credit, you know. I can't really say we can't really say Joe Joyce was exposed because we already knew what he was. We knew that he was a guy that does take a lot of punishment, but is able to really come forward and, and overwhelm his opponents with his offense and hit with his pressure and his volume and his durability. But he met a guy that you know when he hit him in his mouth, he wasn't able to do that and, and get his rhythm going in the fight. So that's why he lost. But there is a silver lining in, in in all this. I think for Joe Joyce, like if he's going to continue to box, which I think you know I think he is. He hasn't said anything about retiring. I think there is a silver lining, and I think Teddy, Atla Teddy Atlas tweeted about his silver lining right here. He said, I quote, the silver, there's, a, there's a silver lining in every dark cloud, and for Joyce, it might be that this poor, poor performance against Zhang will now entice Anthony Joshua to fight him. And, and yes, I think, I think that's what's going to happen, because before this fight, you had Alexander Krasiak, who's Usyk's manager, giving this guy a 93-7 split. You know, BS offers, you know, they didn't really want to fight Joe Joyce. Or, you know, he didn't want Usyk to really fight Joyce, so he gave him a BS offer. Um, but now, after that, I feel like a lot of guys are going to be more keen on, on the idea of fighting Joe Joyce. Because if you look at his record going into yesterday's fight, he was 15-0 with 14 knockouts. The only guy that had, that had ever made it out the distance with him was Brian Jennings. You know what I'm saying? So, that record and the, guy, the kind of guys he was beating... Um, that was really intimidating for a lot of fighters. The money they felt like wasn't worth the reward they could get of beating him, even though he was WBO mandatory. So they decided to go another route. But now, you know, looking at a guy like Joshua, right? Joshua just fought J Jermaine Franklin. Now he's under a lot of criticism his damn self. And, you know, I, I, I thought it was unfair, but, you know, a lot of people are saying he's not what he once was, is that a third? And I saw a more matured fighter. We'll see. But his name has been linked to Joe Joyce for a while. And um, it's a fight that, you know, his management team, people that run his career haven't really been the most intrigued about. But now, now that Joe Joyce got beaten up, there's more vulnerabilities displayed. He might get his fight. Joe Joyce stated himself that he had a rematch clause for the Zhang fight. Personally, I don't think he should, he should, he should take a, a rematch with Zhang Jale because I think... After getting beat up like that, you need time to recover. He needs to get get um, some things together, you know, as far as, you know, his senses and things. So he, he might need to take fight someone who's a little bit less dangerous than Zhang. Now, Anthony Joshua is, is, is dangerous, but he's dangerous in a different way. Anthony Joshua is dangerous as far as, like, his combination punching. Maybe his, his speed at times when he does put punches together. Um, Zhang is literally like, you know, you get touched, you get hurt. That, that, that's what it is with Zhang. So I feel like Joshua may actually be a, a safer fight right now for, for uh, Joyce than, than a guy like uh, Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if not if not him, right, you got other guys in the division. You you could go down the rankings and probably pick someone that's better. But I don't I don't think he should he should fight Zhang. I personally, if, if if at all possible, I think altogether he should just move away from Zhang. Don't even don't even revisit it because um why? I mean, it, it, unless Zhang gets a belt, I don't think he should revisit it because. Um, one thing we saw yesterday from him, and, and you know, I love Ismael Salas. Ismael Salas is an amazing coach, but Ismael Salas, when it comes to his fighters with Southpaws in recent memory, he's been pretty hit or miss, like pretty hit or miss. With Ugas, he didn't really seem to have the answers for uh, Ugas and his game plan with Spence. With Brian Mendoza uh, not a couple weeks ago against Fundura, Mendoza got the knockout. But even before the knockout, you know, a, a lot of people thought that Mendoza was down on the cards. So with that being said, Salas hasn't necessarily been the best of planners or the best as far as his preparation for Southpaws. So I feel like for everyone involved with Team Joyce, they should probably just go a different direction. And if you go down the rankings, I mean, look, you got some good fights out there for him. You got guys like F.A. Jagba, you got Jared Anderson, um, you got uh, Otto Valin. Martin Bacoli, there's there's good fights out there for him that you know aren't as dangerous as Zhang. So if he gets back in with, in with Zhang, all credit to him. But um, you know I think I think this is the fight 
where you know you could look at Joe Joyce and say, okay, this is the fight where now the rest of the division that didn't want to fight him may want to fight him. And if him and Anthony Joshua fight, I think it'd be a, a, a great fight right now. But personally, I think the fight that he should look to, to do, because I, I think it makes a lot of sense, would be him versus Daniel Dubois, the rematch. Because, um, you know, Dubois, although he was the favorite by many people to win that fight, Dubois, um, Daniel Dubois really and truthfully um, was still kind of green when he fought Joe Joyce. Now he's won some fights. You know, he, he, he's looked good in, in his recent outings. He's he put together a nice little win streak, at least three or four fights since the Joyce fight. So um, it, it would be better, you know, because, you know, Joyce seems to have, Joyce is at a stage where he's coming off a bad performance. Dubois is kind of, you know, coming up a performance. So it's a good crossroads fight. I think, um, I think that would really tell us a lot about where Joyce is at. And if not that fight, then you got Joshua. So um, he's going to get fights now. There's no doubt. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. He's going to get the fights. Maybe Arsene Beck Mahmoudov gives him a call because Mahmoudov's management team has been moving him real carefully. You got um, a lot of guys in this heavyweight division that weren't keen on fighting him. Um, and now I think this will open the floodgates for him. So if I'm Joe Joyce, I'm keeping my head up. I'm going to rest. I'm going to recover. I'm going to enjoy my time with my family. When the time comes, come back here to Las Vegas, get, uh, get back in the gym with Ishmael Salas, and um, prepare for bigger and better things, um, bigger and better days ahead, because uh, it's not over for him, although he is 37, and that fight probably did take a lot out of him. It's not all the way over for him. He can still rebuild and, 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 and make some good things happen with his, with his boxing career. So I'm going to leave it at that. What, what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think that because of George Weiss's bad performance yesterday, and his loss to Zhang. Do you finally think guys like Joshua or even a Wilder or Usyk, do you think these guys actually maybe entertain a fight with Joe Joyce? Maybe even Fury, because he was saying all this stuff about Instagram followers, this, that, that. Maybe Fury entertains a fight with Joe Joyce. Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe, like I say in every single one of these videos. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.